Welcome back everyone to Old World Blues A to Z series which we're playing right now is Crazy Horns which is uh, well we're more with uh, White Legs. They don't have a lot of divisions. They have a little more than us. They lost more than us. And we're struggling against them because they're probably actually somewhat normal and somewhat civilized. But Soul. When the ashen cloud choked out the sky so many years ago was the first rays of the sun breaking into the sky that provided hope and faith for our people. Soul burns through, with, through all impurity and illuminates the truth in a world of perversion. Blessed light. Though our eyes may be blind, the pure light of the sun shines through. There can be no aversion of gaze, no dark corner which such radiant truth cannot penetrate, but the sun shines its burning blessing upon all. We did we're equal stare. We lay claim to the sky as we do the land, respect, cherish, and protect it. To commune with air and find fellowship with eagles, this is our purpose, our purpose in the sky. Metal men. To clothe oneself in the earth ancient garments of the old world that make a man immortal to all but heaven itself, this is our greatest act of devotion. And Ouroboros is trying to us. God dang it, I hate that so much. Uh, we don't honestly need any more political power. We are actually very, very good on political power. We're already maxed out, which is actually really nice. Which is rare, too. So, um, after that, ancient science. Energy can be harnessed. Uh, power can be trapped. The very spirit of the air we breathe can be channeled via ancient science to achieve modern miracles. Precious tools. The spanner for the spear, the sword, and the soldier. The way the world is locked with the right tools, we may, may unlock it. I don't like how they're at war and they can still raid us. That literally makes no sense to me. Um, so we're trying to defend here as well, but god dang it, why do they have to steal our divisions away? That literally hurts us. Reports have come to us of an individuals attempting to hide from Soul's divine light. They skulk in the shadows and revival in the dusk in a manner most perverse through our holy teachings. While they claim they're just resting from the heat of the sun, there could be no doubt that these, her these are heretics in our midst. Well, we don't decrease our opinion, so we'll lose some manpower. And they'll go with isolation. We don't need interaction with any outsider. For the last 200 years, we've stood alone. And we'll continue to stand alone until either the end of time or the end of us. Perch heretics. There's no room within our trap for the gods. All of only reigns supreme, but he demands blood. It is. Time to fill the gallows and clear the homes of these wretched infidels to spill their blood on the streets in a great display of devout passion. The crusade. The time's going to impose the righteous doctrine on the rest of Utah. We're done hiding the shadows from tyrants on either side. The religious reign is terror, and ours, ours will begin. Um, there you go. That's fine. Yeah, we're struggling here. Uh, after that, well, well, that's a lot of army XP. We should get another land auction here somewhere, but I guess not this time. Oh, which kind of sucks. I'm going to raid, refine. It's 100. More self stack? Sure, why not? And some more focus, such as holding the rivers. The rivers are the lifeblood of paradise, flowing arteries of sustenance and trade, connecting us both within and without. We can all that all that jealous mind take his bounty from us, and we must meet them head on to serve our sacred right. Flowing waters. The rush of the rivers flow far and wide, until lands unseen and people unheard of. Some may wish us well, others ill, but the world beyond beckons to, just, to us just the same. Weapons of destruction. The world will may have made many mistakes, but one area in which they excelled was in dealing death. But on facsimiles are merely homage to ancient power. They are still just as lethal. Ready missions. There are two types of warriors in battle. Those who stand their ground and fight with honor against all comers. And those who live. We must practice the art of lighting raids, always choosing our battles and never being drawn into a drawn-out conflict. Honoring the champions. For those who have laid their lives forfeit in the service of the people, there can be no honor too great. Our nation lifts these champions up as the pillars and protectors they are, a shining example that every soul can aspire to. Now we can do cleansing the web or spoils of the strong, which I think I would prefer to do with that one. There are those who do not see the storms of war on the horizon, and those who withhold from the good of the people. Those who vainly cling to the material in their folly, they will be dealt with in holy war. We've been weighed, uh, we've been measured, and we have not been found wanting. Let our wars march forth, and may victory be granted from on high, but the blood. That is that the blood that is shed this day will nourish a soul that brings forth the fruit of victory. Well, would you look at that? Uh, the White Legs are now at war with the 80s as well, which is not bad for us. Not great, but uh, yeah, we'll have to deal with it then. Uh, after them, let's just go to war with these guys over here, perhaps. We're gonna go to war with the Burrows eventually too. Ten days ain't too bad. Actually, that's really good. Of course, then again, we did have the Fast Justification War mod on and installed, but whatever. Let's go in. We want to take as much territory as we possibly can. We've done 5%? No, we've done 94%. We want to take as much territory away from these guys. Uh, oh, wow, the Legion's doing very well. Sons of Kaga, huh? Well, then. Yeah, NCR ain't doing so well right now. I hope these guys don't want to take too much territory away from uh, them. Okay, that's not bad. Broken masks. Doesn't really concern us. Exploration for technology. We got a decent amount of manpower still. They're 10%. We're at 89%. There you go. Is that enough? No, it's not. Frisco City. Shall we? We shall. That's a finish up isolation. And purging heretics. Good choice. 
Very good choice. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Come on. Oh, we got it. Camp Severe Lake. Alright. Go to St. George. Uh, I should take that any second now. Nice, there you go. Just make a wall between us and them. Take as much territory as possible. So that they can't have it. Because we want it. Now they might go to war with us for it, but that would be pretty bad. But whatever. soon, potentially, which wouldn't be good, because we took all that territory, nah, we're good, well, at least the Sarles will be free then for us, nice, there. oh, are they down there yet, no, oh, whoops, oh, yeah, they are, there you go, they'll attack that nation, too. they'll attack us too, which is fine, whatever, not super concerned. We are going to be trying to make some planes here as well. We should probably make some roads. We've not really done too much here. False lights. The question has been raised among our most devout concerning the matter of false lights. What ancient, while well, the ancients held many ways of harnessing and capturing the life, there are many who uh, believe this practice to be heretical. No true light from heaven should be permitted. Uh, well, should we accept these false lights as holy, or should we banish it from our lands? All light is holy. Well, we'll grab this one. Only the sun brings true light. That's right. I hate playing as, you know, these minor, super minor nations because it's, it's really hard. The lack of access to, to technology is really bad. Oh, they're actually attacking us here too. Look at that. I don't think they'd actually attack us like that. I figure. Main prospectors? Sure. A little less attack. That's all right for now. We get some better guns. I'm a little surprised that this area is not done yet, but this area is pretty much done. 48 to core? Not bad. 651 core, that's still not bad. This, though, takes forever to core. Of course, there's a lot of people there, too, but still. But luckily, they're not trying to attack us. And I don't think we can get all of Utah now that these guys are in their own little faction with Kaiser, and Kaiser are doing so well. Um, so, there's that. The sleepers might be good to attack, too. We're already at war, kind of, with people up there, so. Hey! Again, we have another trade node. Beautiful! Forgot about that. Training, very good. SEO training. Sure. Local workspaces. Eclipse. Now we're gonna need even more stability. Oh boy. Oh boy. Promise of loot. We can use more war support, why not? They went to War 3 Vegas, which they could probably do very fine. Ooh, heart attack and piercing could be useful. Can you guys do it here? Can you guys just go in? Should be able to bust through this side before we can bust through this side, but you never know. We're actually doing okay. There you go. As we're approaching heretics, crusade. Well, let's hold the river. So we're training our navy, of course. Octanius is doing quite well. Now we want hills. Vegas is downfall, very nice, very nice. Sunstroke's gone, which is good too. Fall of Shady Sands, and the NCR is gonna die. Fortress Buster, very good. What else? We don't have any of that stuff. We can grab this, I suppose. I mean, we will push, push, punch through here. Faster than I expected. So we got a money. Yeah, we're definitely out of money now. Oof. 
There you go, look at that, nice. Actually, very nice. Oh! Crazy Horn Apostle. Wait, so we get auto puppeted. Now we're a little bit, we're a puppet. What the heck? Well, that's stupid. We get auto puppeted. That's not cool at all. Well then. Uh, that's, little, that's actually quite disappointing, not gonna lie. I don't wanna fight the Legion. I don't wanna fight the 80s. We're religious, but we have our old gods. What the heck? We're still trying to please the old gods. Um. That kinda really sucks. Well, look, that's what we're trying to do. We got auto puppeted. What the heck, man? Uh, I don't want to fight the Legion, to be honest, so I think I might just call it there. Oh, we do lose somebody here? Oh, you said this guy. But they completely. Oh, man. They completely cucked us. But, so I think I might end it there. That's uh, the adventure of Crazy crazy Horn. If we attacked uh, Kane in an exile fast enough, we would have probably survived and done okay, but. I guess we it's not meant to be. So, hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great Crazy Horn rest of your day.